Takeoff and landing accidents account for over 15% of all fatal general aviation accidents. These occur when the pilot has neglected to understand two important concepts, aircraft performance and the abort point. First, know and understand the takeoff and landing performance charts for your airplane. As a general rule for light aircraft, if operating on any higher than standard temperature day and at an airport of 1,000 feet or more above sea level with a runway less than 3,000 feet long, calculate your density altitude and pay close attention to performance penalties as shown in your aircraft owner's manual. Remember that the numbers presented in your owner's manual are the best case scenario, recorded in a brand new aircraft with the test pilot at the controls. Environmental and mechanical factors will influence your aircraft's performance. As the aircraft ages, it will no longer perform the same way that it did in its test flights. The age of the engine will have the most dramatic effect on performance, and as it ages, the compressions will be reduced, causing it to output less than its rated horsepower. To be safe, add a buffer of 10 to 20% to the performance numbers that you calculate. Next, select an appropriate abort point. Runway markings and taxiways are two highly visible options to use as your abort point. On unprepared surfaces, use buildings, trees, or whatever else may be available. For your takeoff roll, the abort point should allow you to stop safely in the remaining runway, taking into account the surface conditions. A slippery or downhill surface will require the abort point to move closer to the takeoff end of the runway, whereas an uphill or rough surface will allow the abort point to move further down the runway and the surface itself will help slow the aircraft during a rejected takeoff. When choosing a landing abort point from the air, remember that your approach speed will be higher than your rotation speed, so select a more conservative abort point than you would use on takeoff to ensure you have more than enough room to stop. Also consider any obstacles at the departure end of the runway and move your abort point back to ensure you can climb out over them if you decide to go around. As an additional tool, consider using the following formula on takeoff. Obtain 70% of your rotation speed by 50% of your calculated takeoff roll. This formula has been used by pilots operating in some of the most rugged and remote areas of the world. While the formula is not intended to replace the POH values, it is a useful tool for indicating aircraft performance. Finally, don't be afraid to abort. On your takeoff roll, if things don't seem right, abort right away. On landing, if you don't have your main wheels on the ground by your abort point, stick to your plan and initiate a go-around without hesitation.